Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge Co-op. So yes, what we're going to do is basically stack lots and lots of bells today, ready for fermentation. Uh, we can't just sell them straight away sadly, I wish we could, but we've got to wait for them, not only to ferment, but for the price to increase significantly. I think it's actually January, maybe December, when the price is really good, so um, we do have a bit of a wait. Now Chainsaw is going to load as much as he can do with the actual wrapper. Some will fall off, and yes, I am here to pick them up, but I'm going to take them down to the sell point, but we're going to have to stack them next to the trigger, and then when the price is right, we can just sort of ram them into the trigger. So it won't be very, <laughs> it won't look very professional, but it will work. And yes, we'll make an absolute fortune. We'll probably have to, uh, sorry, strap as we go, not wrap as we go, we are doing that as well. But the plan is to do half and half, so Chainsaw's going to wrap half, I will stack half, and then we'll swap over. So it keeps it fair. I suppose I could actually pick up some bells and bring them to him. Like this one is over here. Let's, uh, let's transport it back. But in a minute, I'm going to be busy. And yes, when he is wrapped loads whilst we're away, uh, he, we'll have to uh, pick them up again with the pallet fork. We could really do with a rear weight, but the problem is I need to tow the trailer as well. Some trailers do fit to the rear weight. I'm not too sure if this one does, though. Um, okay, that's not ideal, but... <laughs> okay. Um, yes, that one's there. W when we do come to the, the unloading, I will time lapse it, so it'll be much faster. I'll just try and put this on a bit better. Just a little bit too heavy. And these are the smallest bells as well. Oh, crikey. No, I made it partially better, I suppose. I think, really, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, we should probably go and unload this before we have a whoopsie. We do not want whoopsies, they're not good. As for my stacking at the other end, it doesn't need to be perfect, but obviously the neater it is, the, the better it's going to be. Um, <laughs> the more we'll get into a smaller area. So, yeah, that's definitely full. Let's head off with this. We're going to unload. I'll just show you the unload point before I time lapse. And then we'll be, able, we'll be back up here as soon as possible. Right. So we're there. Uh, we'll put the zone markers on just so I know for sure. It doesn't actually put a box around it. So I think we're just going to have to play it safe and put them here. Oh, careful, Dagoin. Yeah, well, obviously we can see where the box is, where, where the trigger is, I should say, the centre of it. But I'm not too sure how far out it goes. I was hoping just to go with the, the ram approach, so we just basically drive into it and push them. There is a chance one of these will sell. If it does, it's not the end of the world, but not ideal. I don't go any further than that. Any closer, yeah, that's good. So we'll put them there, and then we can sort of work our way out this way. And it's going to be quite impressive, I think. There's a lot of bales in total. We did have a total. The baler did record it, but I can't remember what it was. It was significant, though.
Okay, that's all of these loaded up. And I think it's probably about time we swapped. Chainsaw has almost finished the wrapping. It would be fun to do a bit myself. So we'll give him this pyramid for him to unload. There we go. Put that on. Swamp. Oh no, it's driving on its own. <laughs> when you start typing and you're already accelerating, it just keeps going. So there we go. 42,000 litres. Hello. Yeah, there really isn't a lot left. Um, probably like 10. I should think we'll be done by the time he gets back. Still using cultivators as counterweights. It works. Yep, uh, eventually when we have the money we'll buy a proper weight, I would have thought. But for the time being, it just makes sense to use something else which is already used for another job, like, you know, multi-purpose. Um, right, I've not used this for a while actually. Unload. There we go. It's actually more than 10. The sorghum looks good. But yeah, I think we'll be done by the time he gets back. It actually hasn't taken that long. I was expecting this to take quite a long time. It's been good. I think this might be the final bail. Seems to be. Okay, um, so yeah, I don't think he's going to get all those onto one load, but we have done so well out of all of this. Should we drop one from a height? I've never actually dropped one from a height before. Just for entertainment value. I would have landed like that, wouldn't it? That just makes it hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoops. Um, what were the chances? I suppose it was quite a high chance. I will try and upright it again. Ugh, making it worse to my playing around. Sorted. Okay, so we'll take this back to the yard. I don't think there's any more. Pretty sure we've got it. So, yeah. We'll return it. Of course, no renting on this series, so we do own that. Um, yeah, let's go over to the stall. I, I would help to load the bells, but we don't actually have a second pallet fork, which makes it quite tricky. I thought my stacking was bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's actually worse. Um, but it doesn't really matter, because all we're going to do is just ram them into here, which would be good fun. And what sort of money are we looking at? 340, maybe 350 pounds for every 1,000 litres. Each one is, I think, 3,500 litres. Yeah, it is. So it's not bad. Yeah, it's going to add up. This is going to be a really decent source of income for us. So that field, since it has now been cut, does need to be cultivated. 
um, because it is of course not going to be grass, it is going to be an arable food, it's going to actually continue on from where we left off in, in this crop here, the sorghum crop, so there goes the pyramid, the bale pyramid, I might as well just get cracking with this, because we don't really want to keep it as grass, because it's only low quality grass, it isn't fertilizable, I don't think, it would need to be cultivated, sorry, cultivated up and then uh, drilled again as grass. So, yeah, this <laughs> this is not going to be fun. This is actually going to be really slow. But one step at a time. Um, actually, who knows? Maybe soon we'll be able to afford a bigger cultivator. We're going to need a bigger tractor as well, though. We haven't really been keeping on the sales. Well, obviously that's amazing, but it is still £128,000. <laughs> that would be so good to have. Right, okay, let's um, do as much as we can in this next time lapse. Wow, this snow is really coming down. It, it might actually start to cover the ground. That would make it more difficult. Um, but yeah, Chainsaw's helping, although he has that heavy red one, the red cultivator, and that is really slow. Uh, despite it being narrower, it's just weird. But yeah, it is actually <laughs> slower. And if you don't put it, it, the tractor into manual, it will just constantly keep shifting gears, which is an absolute pain. So, yeah, not only do you have a smaller working width, but you have a slower travelling speed as well. Right, so we've got this section here to do, and then there's the block, the other side of the trees. But it's just what needs to be done, and then of course we can get the drilling done. Although we do also have quite a lot of rocks that need to be pressed into the soil, so we'll use the roller as well. Probably after drilling though, then we get better seed to ground contact. I don't know, it's still quite a big block. I was going to leave the chainsaw with one of them, but this is actually the bigger one. Nah, we'll, we'll both do them together. So yeah, I don't like to keep doing time lapses, but really, on a day like this, with this particular job, we might as well. I'm sure you don't want to hear me chunter on whilst I just go up and down this field. So let's try and blast through it as quickly as possible.
I think that's this plot pretty much done. When we go back up again, we'll be able to finish that strip. And then we do just have the smaller area on the far side. And yeah, actually that didn't take as long as I was expecting. I thought it would be a massive job. It did help having two cultivators, but as I said, the other cultivator isn't the best. Fantastic as a rear weight, not the best as a cultivator. <laughs> um, but yeah, they'll all be changed at some point, as soon as we can. Uh, it would be so good to get a bigger tractor. Having some extra horsepower would be a massive help. But, yeah, we're getting more and more fields uh, with crops in. So, soon, as soon as we can start harvesting them, we are going to start to do a lot better. I'm actually looking at this plot of trees here. And, yeah, we're going to have to clear those eventually and make it one big field. But I think before we do those ones, we're going to do the ones near the greenhouse because that needs to be expanded uh, with a priority so um, yeah over there we'll be doing them first but or, or I think probably eventually everything we <laughs> everything is going to be cleared everything which is like not needed in real life it would be lovely to have a, a a group of trees there but in this game for survival challenge that's not good it's just well I hate to say it but in this game it is wasted space we could be growing crops there Okay, yeah, so we'll do this final plot. It's not very big. Should get it done in just a few minutes. Well, for a time lapse, less than a minute. And there we go. Not bad. We've totally turned the field around. We have gone from having totally unwrapped bales to a cultivated field. And yeah, they are nicely fermenting down at the cell point. So I don't know how long it's going to take for them to ferment, but it's not really relevant because it's going to be one or two months and we don't really want to be selling those for maybe four months. So yeah, it's, re it's just irrelevant. Yeah. Anyway, let's go and take this back to the farmyard. so good that that is now one big field we have wildlife in the field that looks like that's going to be ready next time so we should have another field to harvest the price will be alright, it won't be that good same with that one. Oh, we haven't actually bailed over there yet um, and he's bailing and wrapping again Actually, if it's wrapping, if chances go to the bailing, I will keep the cultivator on. Let's just see. What's his plan? Right, okay. Oop. Yeah, so, um, let's just drop this off. Put the bailer on. Oh yeah, of course, those two, well, it looks like two different fields in front of us, but actually that's one field with the same crop, it's just they're at different stages, so we might wait for the other side to be ready. It really just depends what the plan is, how many other jobs there are to do. Yeah, I can't really see us getting that many bales out of this, but it is extra, and oh, we actually have lettuce to sell too, eventually. popped out twice. Well, we might get a few, maybe three. It's quite tight, this area. I think eventually uh, this grass will get consumed by the rest of the field. It's just too awkward of an area. We'll obviously leave enough space to be able to access the greenhouses, but yeah, it's just weird. Hoping we can get a third bell, but it's looking unlikely. Right. 
Do we have crop destruction? Am I going to destroy that crop? No? Good. Yeah, it's not going to make it, is it? Oh, I shouldn't be so negative. No, I should be so negative. 98%. We've got to have a little bit. Yeah, there's a bit over there. That is amazing. It looks like we did just have the right amount for three bells. Brilliant. But they do need to be wrapped. But they don't need to go anywhere today. Did I really hit that? I guess I did. There we go. Oh, don't go in the river. Please don't go in the river. Phew, that was close. Okay, we'll put the cultivator back on as a counterweight and then we'll put the wrapper on the front. Switch off the baler. 900 pounds for the soil sampling. Oh yeah, I think I think we already could guess what the uh, soil was going to be. Basically anything but clay. So if there's clay... Oh, look what I've done. If there's clay I've messed... Well, I haven't messed up, but I've <laughs> just not really predicted it very well. Is there clay? No, there isn't. This loam, fantastic. That's what we want. It's a good soil type. Okay, yeah, three bells. Nice and easy and fast. Actually, Chancellor does have the pallet forks, so he might decide to move them or stack them. The most important thing is that we get this one away from the riverbank. We'll just put them in the middle. It's actually ready for another cut. Amazing. And drop. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's going to take them. I suppose he's got nothing else to do. I could put them straight onto the trailer, actually. Go. Oh yeah, we were never going to get the grass in there. I just cut it to make it look neater, but can't really get in. And there we go. Good. So yeah, they can ferment. Take this back to the yard, and then we're done for the day. I'm pleased I remembered those, otherwise, they would have been behind all the others. And there we go, finished. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you want to see Chainsaw's video, the link is down below. But until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.